Hi everyone, this is Vinnie Harris and today I'm going to be discussing for my first review of something for YouTube, The Honourable Woman, the 2014 miniseries that was written and directed by Hugo Blair. Now, The Honourable Woman centres around Nessa Stein, who is portrayed by Maggie Gyllenhaal. Nessa is an Anglo-Israeli businesswoman who, as the story opens, has been made a life peer by English Parliament for her philanthropic efforts. 29 years earlier, Nessa, along with her brother Ephra, who's portrayed by Andrew Buchan, witnessed the murder of their father Eli, who supplied arms to Israel. And now, all these years later, Nessa is the head of the company and instead of supplying arms, she's changed the purpose to supplying telecommunications between Israel and Palestine in the hopes of some form of reconciliation to the conflict. Yet, as the story, yet also as the story opens, she's about to award this contract to Palestinian businessman Samir Mishal, who is found hanged in his hotel room, but there's something very suspicious about the circumstances surrounding it that I wouldn't spoil for anyone. And then events get more murky as Kasim, who's the young son of Afra's children's nanny Attica, who's played by Lubna Asabel, is kidnapped. Like and soon enough like there's the political maelstrom, MI6 is involved with the head the head, Dame Julia Walsh, who's played by Janet McTea and the leasing expert Hugh Hayden Hoyle, betrayed by Stephen Ray investigating and every road seems to lead back to NASA and interesting as the layers are pulled back we get to see that NASA isn't just this icy businesswoman you know who speaks well you know who presents herself well like behind it all she has secrets like everyone else in the story the main one being her and Asuka being kidnapped in Gaza eight years prior and what transpired there. And like slowly we get to see what happened, like slowly, slowly, until it builds up and builds up and the tension is just so uneasy. Now I've got to say Hugo Black is a genius when it comes to writing and directing. Like he crafts like so many amazing things of dialogue, like it is a thriller and drama but there's still like witty lines in it you know and characters and then like but then you got all this distrust which is so intriguing to watch as you're never really sure which character to relate to or who to trust which is quite which is basically the same thing as like what NASA says at the beginning of every episode in the monologue like who do you trust how do you know and you, you know it's a wonder we trust anyone at all you know if you're looking for like a thriller that's you know shooting more bang bang car chases and all that jazz, this probably isn't the TV series for you because it builds quite like something from John le Carre, like the intrigue builds with the espionage and like motivations, secrets, and everything being to soon spill out slowly but surely, and it's all like scrupulously done, it's, like tightly wound perfection of like paranoia international intrigue I've got to say as well we've got to commend Honourable Woman on the way it examines the Israeli-Palestine conflict like there's no easy answers it doesn't like take sides it presents both points of view rather than just focusing on one you know and supporting it it focuses on both and out the difficulties of the conflict and it's quite topical as well because the Israeli-Palestine conflict is like always been in the news and even as of late it has. Do we give credit to the music as well? You know, you got these to like build suspense with the drum snap, but then you've got like the Middle Eastern voice that repeats and repeats like this sort of lilting, almost lullaby thing. But then it has like a darkness that's underneath all of it that is quite like unnerving as well. Gotta say, gotta say, something like something like the Honourable Woman couldn't have done that well without such a stellar cast, and the cast is on fire here. Maggie Gyllenhaal is phenomenal as Nessa. You know, she says so much without actually saying anything. Like her face radiates 
emotion, like, it's the, like, almost cold, smart, outer core, outer, outer core, sorry, outer exterior of her, and then the emotional inner core, you know, and the history of her, and it's just so fascinating to watch, you know, Ever unravel as a character because she's so complex, there's so many layers, and Gyllenhaal just owns it. Andrew Buchan is very good as Edward Ephra, who used to run the company but mysteriously doesn't now. There's something about Ephra that puts you on edge slightly, that you can't quite put your finger on, it's all like it's like darkness there, you know, his methods are a bit untoward, you're never really sure. And then, gotta say, Luke Nazabel as Attica is great as well at doing subtlety, you know, saying so much with just the gaze or her eyes. And air scenes with Maggie Jill and all the great, and you sense like that bond that's formed between them by their experience in Gaza all those years ago. Janet McTeer is fabulous as. There's an MI6 named Julia Polish, like she has all these great lines, you know, she knows exactly what she's doing, she knows how to put people in her place, and she's not afraid to like go forward with what she wants, but on the other hand is quite cautious with other things, but knows exactly how to get at things. Stephen Ray has this weary quality that is so well suited to Hugh Hayden Hoyle, he's full of regret for cheating on his wife. And with Dame Julia and like trying to rebuild that, but then he's also retiring, but he wants to finish this case and get it fully finished before he signs off from MI6. Who else is there? God, um, such a good cast. Um, Catherine Parkinson is probably the most honest character plays the most honest character of Ephra's wife, who suspects something's going on, but is never actually quite certain what it is. And Genevieve O'Reilly has some great scenes as Nessa's advisor, Francis. Like, there's that dynamic between the two, and how she comes to question Nessa's motives at times. Thank you. Egal Noor as Shlomo has some really funny moments. Like Shlomo is a friend of the family, but you you supported them for years, but you're never quite sure, you know, what he's up to. Like there's something quite sneaky but amusing at the same time, or if you understand what I mean. Uh, I don't know how to put it in words. Tobias Menzies as Nathaniel, who's Nessa's bodyguard, who's quite silent, dedicated, you know, by the book, and rounding this out, you've got Lindsay Duncan as Angelica, who's Hugh's estranged wife, who is almost shut down emotionally because of the hurt he's caused her. So that's me in the cast. So I advise anyone to watch The Horror One because it is a phenomenal thriller and you know you'll still be thinking about it days after putting pieces together and then noticing little bits that seem innocuous so that's my first review i hope everyone's enjoyed thanks for watching